American dream over for Catwoman. Mary Nightingale is fired from the US version of Newsroom's Got Talent. This is the ITV News with Alastair Stewart. The star who left Britain to make it in America was unceremoniously dropped after the show's producers claimed her accent couldn't be understood and her outfits were just too racy. Also on the programme tonight... Austin awaits. Newsreader hopes his band can triumph again as the competition heats up. BBC out. Auntie pulls out of this year's Newsroom's Got Talent over fears her newsreaders might actually enjoy themselves. And Sky dive in, but will allegations that they've been hacking their fellow team's phones mean that they are destined for failure? Good evening. It was the talk of last year's show, but Mary Nightingale's catsuit has led to the newsreader being axed from the US version of Newsroom's Got Talent. She quit the UK following last year's performance when offered a more lucrative deal by the American version of the show. After her first appearance, the show's producers replaced her, following complaints that viewers just couldn't understand her accent and that her PVC leather catsuit was simply not appropriate for a family show. The controversy is the latest in a string of dramas to hit the smash hit variety show. Creator Erin O'Toole is rumoured to be flying back to the UK to try and deal with the Ferrari. The Voice of God now reports on the charity show that has taken the world by storm. In the beginning was the catsuit, and the catsuit was with Mary, and Mary was the catsuit. But that catsuit got too big for its own good. That catsuit, oh, such a fuss. I can't imagine why everyone was so interested in it. It's just a silly old thing I just picked out. Anyway, I suspected it might get me a bit of attention in America, which it certainly did. And that was what swung the job for me on the American newsrooms got talent with all the greats out there. You know, I was obviously excited about it. Anyway, what happened in the end was I think it was too racy for them, in truth. Uh, there was talk of Janet Jackson, wardrobe malfunction, possibilities, seams giving way and so on. And, um, uh, you know, it's a different world out there. Uh, and, uh, and I guess they just weren't big enough to take it. <laughs> and alas, because of her commitments in the US, Mary was unable to take part in this year's show. Well, I mean, you know, one moves on from America. Apparently they couldn't understand my accent, but that's fine. So you move on, put it behind you, that's showbiz another day and the good news is I am now available for this year's performance great news the latex again obviously how can I disappoint and um, well, I mean they don't need Katie Derham do they I mean why, why troll that deep after all she's very BBC now isn't she so I am available and ready to go <laughs> Serious afternoon ahead of us. I know. Quite, is it? A lot of, quite a lot of stretching to do. I think there is. Has anyone told you, by the way, please don't worry, is that you're back here? Oh, no, that's and nice. And not Mary. Oh, no, come on. Come on. She's gone on to great things in the States. You know, yeah, it was yeah, great. Yeah. It was a great opportunity for her. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's just a much happier place we're out here, to be honest. I mean, it was all about, last year it was fine, but it was all about Mary, all about the katsu, which would have suited you an awful lot better, I have well, to say. Well, look, you, you know, you're flattering me, but believe me. There's no woman like Mary Nightingale for, for dealing with rubber. I mean, she took it like a duck to water, come on. <laughs> that is true, that is true. But anyway, it's good to have you here. <laughs> well, no, nice to be back. They weren't filming that, were they? I uh, hope not. No. <laughs> so anyway, the great news is I've got in touch with Angels. The cat suit, you'll be thrilled to hear, is available again this year. And my American commitments, you know, notwithstanding, I am now available <laughs> for this year's Newsroom's Got Talent. What do you say? Oh. <laughs> See, the thing is, the thing is, Mary, you know, we've um, been rehearsing and, um, frankly, there just isn't space this year, you know? Just the way it is. 
Awkward. Hi. And what have oh, they been doing God. over at Channel 4 News? Oh, what about Krish? Uh, he can't make it either. He's got lunch. What about my lunch? I, well, you're I just have to give up my lunch. Yeah, Right, yeah, we'll along just... with everybody else. Okay. Great, typical. Hang on a sec, though. Does this mean I get their solos? At last, my chance to shine. How exciting. I don't get many opportunities to shine in this job, so yeah, great. Brilliant, let's get going. Can't wait. Why do you fill me up? Fill me up, buttercup, baby, just to let me down. Let me down. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, okay. what? Okay. Kathy, you, you, Where's my you go stand seat? there with, with, with you stand Wait over there. Wait a minute, this is, this is That's enough of you. about John, me, isn't it? Over here. Over oh, there. great, <laughs> relegated to number two again. I knew it, I knew it, despite all that Jim said. Right, John, front and centre. Front and centre. Me, ego, ego, ego. Uh, right, off we go. Yeah. Somewhere in here, though, haven't I? I mean, you know. But anyway, people, people want to look at a woman. Why don't you just a couple of steps you know, back, baby? We could, but I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I think more, more over there would be better. I, I think out the front here, actually. Well, out in the, the shadow over here. Yeah, okay, right. a bit further forward. Well, I think I need my own light right here, actually. <laughs> you were my toy that I could be the boy you adore. Just a let me know. Although you're untruthful. It's so fast, isn't it? Yeah. Pompons! Oh, John Snow! Is that the cheese? No better? That's good. That's good. Right. And it's not been plain sailing over at daybreak either. Working five to nine. Hang on, they're working five till nine? Meow! They can't really call daybreak work, can they? And what do Adrian and Christine think about the talent? I think they need to put a bit more work in. That's pretty terrible, but yeah. they're on a journey. It's a long slog. Andrew Weston! No one cares who's the middle of the floor. Ha, ha. Working fast tonight. Oh, that's very poor. Very, very poor. Room for development, though, so if you're starting at the rock bottom, the only way is up, so. Yeah, you tell him, girlfriend. That jazz? Jazzy Jizzy Jazeera. Now, here's Mark Austin's rock band. Ah, yes, you can smell the testosterone from here. I don't mind doing it for the kids. They're doing it for the kids, apparently. Charitable. They won last year, don't you know? Well, I mean, Matt promised us Madison Square Garden uh, with you two and supporting Kasabian, but nah, none of it, no. I mean, all I've had is lots of letters on lined notepaper and green ink from a woman called Iris. Well, out of the two of us, I mean, I'm the one that gets more recognised. Everywhere I go, everyone knows who I am. That's why I can't take the sunglasses off. I mean, J-Lo, Madonna, they're all doing it. Well, it's obvious, really, why I've been brought back again this year. There's, there's two reasons. This and this mark Q. Well, since winning last year, my life hasn't changed at all, actually. I was asked to be a fourth place stand in local celebrity to um, turn on the Hassocks Christmas Village lights, uh, you know, in case um, Jonathan Pierce and Dame Vera Lynn and um, Mrs. McCluskey from Grange Hill couldn't make it. Um, you know, one night on stage at the O2, and this is what happens to you in your life. Um, unfortunately, um, I didn't switch the lights on. Um, damn you, and Vera. We'll meet again. Here's ITV London. They weren't in the show last year, but then again, it does take regional telly twice as long to get things done. <coughs> 
Oh, wait. No, I'm so sorry. Uh, the bosses want me to stay on message. Yes. One ITV. One ITV. One happy freaking ITV family. Repeat after me. Oh, bollocks to it. Can you get some water? Someone get yeah. Yeah. And you've got to get your bum really, really, really firm, okay? okay. Women want to sit your arse. Clench it. Clench it. Clench it. Oh. And hard. why is it that these wonderful mortals want to win so badly? We couldn't afford to even pay for my veneers, my boob job. We didn't even have a sunbed at home. And this is my one chance. The thing is, on my grandmother's deathbed, she said to me, Faye, you're a musical theatre star trapped in a newsreader's body. Being a ginger, I was always told as a kid, you shouldn't even be outside of the house, let alone on stage. I'm sorry. Oh. I, just, I just have to do it for my goldfish. It means just everything to me because my father never wanted to know me. And I'm hoping that if he sees me on Newsome's Got Talent, that he'll recognise that I'm his daughter. So, Boris Johnson, if you're watching this, I'm here. And I just want you to love me. can't do these fake tears. How do they do it? Let me try this onion. No. No. Well, eat it. Eat it. Oh. 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 That went great. No, I'm not. Nothing's working. Ah, yes. Here's the lovely ladies from Sky News. I'm told all of them are virgins. Uh, newsroom's got talent virgins, of course. Yes, yes, I certainly am. Let's go, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -da You're joking. That's the choreographer bloke from Fame Academy, isn't it? Thing that I do, promise on me, promise on me, we're poor. Poor ITV couldn't afford him. Murdoch's millions are good for something, then. Do you try a turn? Wait a minute. Where's the mighty Kay Burley? What's wrong? This is all your fault. Don't even talk to me. Of course. I've just got an email. Newsroom's got talent. I'm not included. You oh. were supposed to put me forward. Oh. All the young girls are doing it, and I am not doing it. Oh, dear, I'm really sorry. You know that I can sing. Oh. I've sung for you before. Oh. Do you want me to sing now? OK. <clears throat> When I was younger, so much younger than today, never needed anybody to help in any way. So, do you remember when you told me that you couldn't hold a tune in a bucket? Yeah. You were right. To be honest with you, I have no idea why Sarah Jane is in it. I mean, she can't dance, she can't sing, she's gonna let us down. You know exactly why she's in it now. Just look at her. Every girl band has got to have the token ginger. Oh dear, a little tension perhaps. Oh, is Naz really getting on your nerves? Who does she think she is? It is driving me up the wall. What is it about her standing in the middle all the time? And she takes all the best lines and she drowns us out. Her voice is so loud. I tell you what, it's just not on. And did you see her in the toilets earlier on? She was so rude to that toilet attendant. Do you know what? Next thing, she's going to have some footballer boyfriend. Oh, we put it past her. And all that stuff about, I do the news wall, I know how to move. Just because you walk up and down doesn't mean you've got rhythm. We know what MGT really stands for. Newsroom's got talent? <sighs> Naz has got talent, actually. So, how are they all getting along? We really bonded. We love each other now. We've been on such an incredible journey together. I'm going to miss it so much, girls. Oh, we're not like friends. We're like sisters now, Aww. girls. More like a Sky News family. And I'm the baby. Do you know what? We feel like a real girl band now. Oh. Come on, girls, let's do our thing. Yeah, Come on, on. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Well, it all looks rather good, doesn't it? This is the voice of God reporting for ITV News. 
God, I'm good at this. The voice of God reporting there. Well, that's all for this special Newsroom's Got Talent edition of ITV News. Good night, thank you for watching, and enjoy the show.